Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a tutorial. How odd. Um, so, let's have a look at what we're going to do. We're going to use Soundflower, um, and we're going to use aggregate devices. So, um, just in our audio MIDI setup then, let's have a look about uh, what's going on here. So here's our Pro Tools aggregate I.O., and we've added in the Soundflower 2 channel into that. By the way, um, Soundflower is a free download. You can download that free from Cyclin74, the makers of Max. Um, right, so here we go. I've added that in. There's another video that kind of goes through how, how we do this. So we now have, the essence of this is that we have two outputs. And why do we have two outputs? Well, we have two outputs because we want to be able to hear what we're doing while we're doing it through the built-in output. And also we want to record what we're doing. So to make the tutorial, we're using the QuickTime player, which you can't see the screen for it. You can see it's recording because there's a little square with a circle in up there. Um, when you uh, start off your recording, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Um, and what we're going to do is set the input, the audio input, to Soundflower to channel. And then we've, what we've done in Pro Tools is we've just simply got an auxiliary track that goes to our Soundflower output. And then so we can hear the track as well, well, so we can hear it, we're sending it to the, um, we've got our normal kind of submaster um, going to master, um, but also we've got a send here. Um, let's put that at 0 dB at Unity, and that is going to this output here, which is going to the Soundflower output, so that when we press play, we should hear both my voice and the Pro Tools track. And I can hear the track as well, which is really rather nice because I'm listening on this output here. So let's um, let's see if that works. Okay, it takes a little while to come in. Let's start. So you should be hearing the track, and you should be hearing. 